brawl. Play an irrigated farmland comes in tap. Nice. Draw. Ooh, let's play this because I can. Scalding Tarn. And then I'll crack it and pass the turn. Okay, I will draw a an Indapa Trioma and pass the turn. Uh, I will draw. I'm playing a Stunken Hollow and then pass the turn. If I was, if I was playing too quickly because I can't find the land that I want. <laughs> Sorry, I haven't got a million things to do with this land. <laughs> it's because I turn one. Turn one fetch land. I will play a Vivid Marsh. Comes in with two charge counters on it. Is it tapped? Um, <coughs> it's tapped with two charge counters on it, yes. Um, it's tapped for a swamp, uh, and I can move the charge counter for any map. So I pass it to Nice. So when I finish shuffling. I found my steam vents, that's what I was looking for. And I'll take the one damage off the fetch in a second. So, untap and draw. I'm going to play a forest. And for two, I am going to play Bugnir's Everfull Purse. And what that does is, for one and tap, I roll the d4. And I create that number of treasures treasures equal to the result, and then I pass it to the player on my right. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, right. so everyone gets it. It gets passed around. It's quite a cool card. Yeah, it's nice, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. <laughs> Share some treasures yeah. around. And pass right, it to me. Raw. Um, I will play the Stomping Grounds Untapped. Take the two life. <laughs> Boop. And then I will play a Sylvan Caryatid. Oh, nice. Past turn. Uh, I will untap, I will draw, I will cry. Uh, tap for a blue and play a Ruin Crab. And then I will play. Do what to be that way? For Ruin Crab. Oh, I forgot what you were playing for a second. <laughs> Oh no! I told everyone. I like I just forgot. Oh, just generally, oh, generally, genuinely forgot. Um, and then I'll play Orzov's Basilia. I think that's how you say it. Bounce the sunken hollow back to my hand, and everyone mills three. Well, each opponent mills three cards. Oh, Jensen. Shadow Slither. Damn, one of my best card. Um, Jensen, Carfalian, unfortunately, and two lands. Okay, so Flooded Strand. Im uh, the Imreth? Oh, yeah. Does yeah, it yeah, Doom yeah. and a Command Tower? Oh, Command Tower. Yeah, yeah the Command Tower would have been really there. useful. <laughs> that hurts, yeah, that was a horrible meal. That's the turn, I'm going to cower in the corner. Untap. Oh, that's nice. Oh, actually, I'm too many lands. I'll play a forest. I'll put an isolated chapel in the graveyard. So I've got too many cards. Should have done that differently. And I will tap two. Oh, no. No. For a Slithersmith. It's an artifact creature, spell shaper. For one, tap it, discard a card, create a 1 1 colorless sliver artifact creature token named Metallic Slither. <clears throat> nice. Was that done after that? Sorry, mate. And uh, after this, uh, pass the turn. Yes, sorry. And tap. Draw. Ooh, I like that card. It's a bit away, but I do like it. Uh, right. So I will play a planes. And for what we're going to do now, for one, I will tap the Everfall purse and roll a d4, and I get a three. So I get three treasures, 
And Matt, you now have the Everfall purse tapped. Okay. Should I put that in this corner? We called it Everfall purse. Yeah, yeah it's um, Buccaneers Everfall purse. Uh, so does that change what I want to do? Make it, make it might. Uh, so for five, because I'll use the treasures straight away. I'm going to play skeletal swarming. Oh no! Yeah. Oh, but the uh, so each skeleton I control has trample, attacks each combat if able, and gets plus X plus O, where X is the number of other skeletons I control. At the beginning of my end step, we create a tapped 1-1 one, one black skeleton creature token. Uh, if a creature dies this turn, I create two instead. And then I will pass the turn, getting a skeleton, and having to look through some tokens to see if I've got any. <laughs> okay, I will draw. Um... Uh, uh, I think I have to, I'm going to have to play a Temple Garden. Take the pain. You could gamble and uh, pay a mana and roll a d4. See what treasures you get. Yeah, I thought about that, but... No. I don't need it at the moment. Um, I'm going to pay two Felwar Stone. In one, two, three for a chromatic lantern. Yeah, nice. Um, mm, uh, mm, I'm worried about giving key loads of mana. <laughs> uh, my the... hand, my hand is terrible. Like... I know, but you have got that big. Wipe half our decks, haven't you? Um, can't stop because of that. So, um, I will tap my one to roll the. Let me see if I've got a d4 somewhere. I can roll it if you want me to. Is this a four? No, that's an eight. Yes, yeah, so if you don't mind, please, mate. Yeah, I that's fine. can't find one. Uh, oh, you, I roll you a four. Oh, oh, nice. Four treasures, eh? You're terrified. Mm. I ain't going to get the money. That is... That's interesting what to do. Four treasures. It's a good place, I mean. But... It's quite nice, that. Because you're passing it around and you're kind of giving lots yeah. of people money. Um... You watch now. I'm going to roll a one. I hope so. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Could be a bit of a waste to it, mate. Don't know. Put that back on there. Yeah, actually, I'm just. Um, can I use two of them? Two would leave two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so I'm going to use two of them to play explore. And draw a card. Play an additional land. Um, yeah, and pass turn to key. Um, test draw. Oh my god. <clears throat> I'll play a Rafine's Tower tapped, so you guys mill three. Okay. Oh, I was with Trion. I didn't realise that I got the um, proxy for it. Plated Sliver and a Muta Vault. That would have been nice. And then I'll tap my oars off to roll a d4. Uh, Scalding uh, Tarn. I got a 3. Wayfarer and, oh, Ruinous Ultimatum. No. You got some nice cards off me. It's 3, isn't it? 
Yeah, I got three. Uh, so Nad yeah. Nadar, Selfless Paladin, uh, Outlander, Interpret, Outlander, and Instrument of the Bards, which is quite a nice card. I can. I'm gonna use all three treasures, and I'm gonna play Mirror Maid, and I'm gonna create a copy of your skeleton enchantment. No. <laughs> Oh, no. Um, so I get to end so I don't have them groovy cards like you do. Uh, treat yourself. I'm going to make a 1-1 one -one skeleton. And then pass the turn. One tap. So you have the treasure thing now, Dad. Oh, right, cool. Uh, that's handy to know. I'm just going to put that down for it, if that's all right. Yep. I made a bit of a note over here. Yeah, cool. Um, do you, uh, I'm going to roll a d20. 1 to 5 is 1. 6 to 11 is 2, etc, etc. Yeah, so d20 divided by 4. Yeah. So I get 4. Yeah, that's <laughs> cost 20. You, it costs you 1 mana, by the way. Oh, okay. I'll take 1 mana. That would be sarcastic, but it's so now because he got the four. Yeah, because he got the four. I'd be crying if he got the one. It's only nat, no, it's only nat twenty he's ever rolled on camera. <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> Normally, I have a DM screen in front of me when I roll mine. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, it's worth paying one for because you only get one treasure. You've lost nothing. Exactly. Yeah. Oh. Did your skeleton be tapped, um, Chris? Yeah, they come in tapped. Uh, okay. All right. Yeah, that's fine. I don't know that enchantment, so I've, I know it. I know it gets gribbly. Yeah. Skeletal Play swarming. Planes for the turn. So one, two, three, seven. That's interesting. That'd be a great one to put in with the dirt. Dirtable turtle. Or is it not? Oh, this one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, the skeleton swarming. Oh, mm. yeah. So, yeah. if I go white, blue, black, red, and green from these two here, I can play my commander. Ooh. So, I'll do that. Uh, I'm just going to the dice down so we can pick that up. And this gets Cascade. It gives all Slithers Cascade. Yeah, it does. Hang on. Go on. Oh, it has Cascade itself, yeah. Itself, yeah. So I'm not sure whether I missed out on a thing, thing last time we played with it. Maybe. But, but whatever, yeah. whatever, you, whatever you play what? off this will not have Cascade. Yes, I understand yeah, that bit. That's, yeah, cool. That's where we yeah. always kind of get confused, don't we? Yeah. So, why wouldn't it have cascade? Because it because it's on see... the stack. Yeah, doesn't see the commander yet because the commander's still on the stack by the time you cast your first one. Yeah. Oh, so... it's not cast. Oh no, it's do you cast it from cascade? It yes. says when, when you, you for free. when you Sorry. when you cast this spell, exile cards from the top of your library until you exile a non land card that costs less. You may cast it without paying its mana cost. Put the exact card on the bottom of your library in a random order. And then it says sliver spells you have, you cast have cascade. But the cascade triggers <coughs> on the stack, doesn't it? Not when it enters the battlefield. So it's a when you cast this spell. Yeah, it's when you cast it in. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So the first card off is quick sliver. You may play quick sliver any time. You can play an instant. Any player may play sliver cards. As though they had flash. Yeah, so it's all it's all slivers. Cool. That's that then. That ends the battlefield. And I will pass the turn. Cool. Untap. Draw. I will play an island. I will tap said island and tap the Everfall purse. 
and create a four treasures. <laughs> that didn't work when I was trying to show the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it was four. <laughs> I believe you. Good. I just took it off my DM shield over there. <laughs> Uh, that will go over to Matt. Oh, what's my pen? Where's my pen? There you go, Turtle. That's for you. Thank you. And then... What we're going to play here... So, let's take one down for a black, and then two others, and I'll play this one T, the, yeah, one T Fang Blade, and then, uh, might as well do it this way, so, Tap that for a blue and use two treasures. And I'll play a Displacer Beast. Which will come in and I will venture into the dungeon. And I'm going to go through the Lost Mines. I'm going to put it down here. And I am going to use my 1T figurine. Describe one. Have a look. Oh yeah, we'll keep that there. Keep that there. Uh, go to combat. And go at Dalfort with my 1-1 one, one skeleton. Okay. Does it matter if it dies or not? For two, yeah, yeah, or if it dies, I get two skeletons instead of one. Uh Okay, I'll just play it through there. Cool. Take one. <coughs> uh, go to my end step. And I'm just going to put a two onto here so I know how many I've got without having to make a billion skeleton tokens. And that's you, Matt. All right, cool. Tap on tap on tap. And draw. Um, I, I am going to go um, green, white, red, black, um, blue, blue. yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and one or two headed hell kite as so fly menace haste. Five five. When it attacks, I draw two cards. Um, so go to attacks key. I'm going to fly to you for five. Okay. Trigger. Draw two cards. Okay. Um. Draw land. Try and flip the flip. Which Hellkite is that one there, Matt? Sorry. Uh, two headed Hellkite. You're making treasures, man. Nice. Mm. I don't know. It would be handy if I got some. It's nice to pass it around. <laughs> yeah, it would be handy. I do need some. But... Um, so I'll tap my thing if you can. Roll the dice for me. Yep. You see? Uh, another four. Oh, so up to six. Okay. Um. Um. So yeah. So four. All six treasures. I'm gonna play Okakachi Vengeful Kami. Oh, nice. So six six flying trample and it deals combat damage to a player. If that player attacks you during their last turn, exile target non land permanent that player controls. Um, that's me done. Alan tap. 
Draw a card. And um, pass the artifact to key, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> tap blue and two to play a midnight clock. Um, um, I'll play Sunken Hollow, so he goes mill three. Ah, oh, I forgot I was going to not get that. Oh, but we're three slithers. I'll tap one. Uh, it's roll d four. Two. Two treasures. So have you just used the purse? Yes. Cool. Back with dad. And then I'll swing it. Dad with a one one skeleton. He yours double up. Yeah, it's the same enchantment as Chris's. Um, so, is it, it doubles up if you die or don't die. If a creature dies, die. it doubles. Okay, so how did yours double? double? Because I let yours through. So, I had one, and then I gained a second skeleton, so I've got two. Total. Oh, cool. so oh, it's just, it, yeah, if nothing dies, you get one. If something dies, yeah. you get two, rather than double. Cool, so. I'll see. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, okay. Uh, I'll take one. Uh, then I'll go to my end step and I get the one. Cool. Done? Yeah. One tap. All right, start with your upkeep. I've got an hour counter on midnight clock. Roll off. Interesting. Uh. Right, I will use the spell so it goes back to you, Chris. Oh, okay. Um, <clears throat> I'll roll me d20 again. I got 11 this time. So that's three. It's a dangerous board now, isn't it? Yeah. No, not not on my side. <laughs> no, okay, well between between Dad and Got Matt. Grabbing some skeletons, man. <laughs> so, so white and three. Yeah. White and three. I am gonna cast bone side bone side slither. So the creatures you control have double strike. It's a night cascade. Yep. Yeah, now cascade. Yeah, so. Um, oh, that doesn't happen. Why it's a permanent, isn't it? Oh. Yeah. 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 I thought it was just creatures. I apologise profusely. No, no. Okay, so this enchantment comes into play, and it says creatures you control have tap add one mana of any colour. That's a nice enchantment. Yeah. Cool. So bone slide. The bone slide is already on there. Can you still see them? You're going too high into the yeah, thing. That's yeah, that'll do. Um, okay, I will then. Don't have haste, so I'll get it. Right, so I'll use all five treasure tokens. Cast Thorn, cast the Slither. Slithers you control have. Slither creatures you control have. When this creature attacks, 
it deals one damage to a target creature or player. Cascade. And it, um, and we've gone into that's a four drop, so this one comes in. Mm -hmm. um, when this permanent comes into play, you may fate seal one. Its controller looks at the top card of an opponent's library when he or she may put that card on the bottom of their library. Okay. okay but you've still got Cascade yeah. now. Oh, because it's another Slither, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, and then I can do that with each one of them, can't I? Yep. Yeah. Now, I was watching um, some other people play Commander, and you can blank the screens off whilst you show the top of your deck to the other player. Oh. Hmm. So, but I'm not worried about that. Um, it's not coming into play yet, are there? Oh, so that's still on the stack, is it? Well, yeah, because you cast it and then you get your cascade trigger, right? I think. Yeah. So each one of these are on the stack? Yeah, the red one and the blue one is on the stack. Okay. I think. Yeah, because you cascade as you cast it, so none of these have hit the battlefield. Well, I thought they were each individual ones, because if, if I draw a land, if, say, I draw three lands in between, when the second one hits, those have to be shuffled to the bottom of the... Shuffled uh, and then put on the bottom okay. of the deck. Okay, fair enough. You know what I mean? Yeah. I th that's how I thought it worked. But I could be wrong. Anyhow, I'm looking for a three or less mana thing now. And that's three. It's Harmonic Sliver. Jeez. All, all Slivers have, when this creature comes into play, destroy target artifacts or enchantment. Um... I shall destroy the... Uh, what's, what's the best thing to destroy, Matt? Skeletal swarming. Yeah, and Chris. Um, it doesn't matter, because when you play your next leather, you'll get the other one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I, I would point. take mine, because I'm next, if you haven't got another slither to play. Is... Yeah. Oh, yeah, good point. Yeah, cool. Um... Okay, I'll just so. shoot myself in the foot with my own comments. <laughs> I'm now looking for a two. Yeah. yeah so but, as but, you as you cast it, yeah, uh, cascade. You put all cards back, but it's still on. The okay, you're gonna be able to shoot whatever you want as well. Yeah. So when you cast things. a cascade, exile cards from the top of your library until you exile an online card whose mana value is less than the cascading spell. You may cast that card without paying its mana cost. Then yeah. put all cards exiled this way that weren't cast on the bottom of your library. Yep. And around, so you may cast this. Oh no, so you have to choose, so it just keeps going. Because you cast it, and then when you cast it, you trigger it again. Yeah, yeah. Each one, yeah. Each so you, trigger. Yeah, you, you, re that. you resolve the the exile cards to the bottom of the library before you start yeah. flicking the next lot. Yeah, yeah. So, but they so, are still on the um, stack, then, yeah. Yeah. No, uh, they're individual. No, it's still on the stack. It's still on the stack. Yeah, that's what I thought. Because you cast you cast the card, then put the exile cards back way, then your second cascade trigger of the next sliver goes off. Mm -hmm. So the casting of the spell is on the stack. None of them have hit the battlefield. Okay. Yeah. All right. Which uh, is fine because anyway, it means uh, your harmonic slither is going to come in first, and the other two are going to cause you to pick targets for that. Mm. Oh, no, you you don't. No, you don't choose the order of the stuff. They come in as they come in. Yeah, yeah. They come in reverse, right? Yeah. 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 So that will get to shoot two things yeah. with the harmonic slither. Yeah. Right, and then I get to fate seal three, three things. Yeah. Okay. No. Cool. Uh, one thing goes the reverse. Oh yeah, yeah. Way. One thing. Right. Yeah. Okay. Because that's the one thing that was before it. Yes. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Cool. I've got a land, so that doesn't count. Ground shaker slither is way too big. Um, birthing box is one too big. Um, reflex sliver is too big. Dark seal, uh, dark seal, big ingots, too big. Uh, that is a root slither, but it's 
Spanish. That's why I've had to put a label on it. Yep. It's foreign, anyway. Um, four, too big. Triome, too <clears> big. <throat> too big. Too big. Uh, not there's a land, even. Um, two drops. Three. Oh. Yeah, sorry. Two drop. There we go. I've got a, a, bade, a blade black. Oh, my word. A blade back sliver. Hellbent. As long as you have no cards in hand, um, so the creatures you control have tap it, and it deals one damage to a target. And Play a role playing walker. Okay. Oh, right, okay. Nice. Oh, yeah. And then you put the, so, so you put that stack of cards back under the bottom, and then you look for your one drop. Okay. This deck is too complicated when you have two fakes. <laughs> <laughs> so, no. Two drop. Two drop. Two drop. <laughs> Three drop. And. I so say you have got a couple of one drops in there, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, they're not in my hand. <laughs> two drop. And. And four drop, and three drop, and big, big, and three, two, 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 three, one. There we go. Hmm. I'll that. Oh. Hey. <laughs> so they've all got poison. Well, they've all got Infect. <laughs> no, Poisonous One. It's different to Infect. Oh, okay. It does the same, but it's different. But, uh, all Slither creatures have Poisonous One. When a Slither deals combat damage to a player, that player gets a Poison Counter. A player with 10 Poison, 10 or more Poison Counters loses the game. Okay. I think Infect, I think infect gives you Poison per hit point, doesn't it? Per, per damage. damage dealt. So with Double yeah. Strike, it's doing it's... two per Slither, right? Yeah. <laughs> right, so on the bottom. This is where a board white comes in now, isn't it? That looks silly. Right, so none of them have haste, although I do have creatures with haste. But, uh, but you still do. got some targets, right? So the poison one comes in. Okay, so everything's got poison now. Yeah, then the hellbent one comes in. Okay, cool. Then the harmonic comes in. So choose your target. So, so the, skeleton, the skeleton thing, yeah. yeah. Then your next one comes in. So you, okay, so you, which has... So you pick so your choose... target for harmonic. So that would be the other enchantment that Kieran's got. Yeah. And then... No, so, no the, the one that copies Chris's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is that right? Is that yeah, cool? That's that's right. And then you do yeah, your cool. phase thing. Whatever it's called, um, Fate Seal. Fate Seal. Says, um, when this permanent comes into play, you may Fate Seal 1. Its controller looks at the top card of an opponent's library, then he or she may put that card at the bottom of the library. Right, what I'll do is I'm going to have a look at Kieran's, because he's only in the other room. And he's <laughs> the only one not milling cards. <laughs> <laughs> Just shout it to you. Yes. Oh, um, yeah. This is how to get a library of games recorded. Yeah. <laughs> Play Slither first, Lord. Uh, first Slither. <laughs> well, that was funny. Um, okay, so I've told him he can, that can stay at the top. Okay. But then I've realised what he's got on his board, which is sort of, probably not a good idea. But anyway, it stays on the top. Yes, because I'm just <laughs> such an intimidating board. <laughs> no. Yeah. And, um, and then, it wasn't a board wipe. Uh, no, 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 no. Um, and then this one comes in so I can destroy another enchantment. Or artifact. Or artifact. Yeah. Yeah, so take one of Chris, take one of Kieran. What's Matt got that? I'll get to full. Artifacts, I've got Fairwell Snowed and Chromatic Lantern. Um, I'll take the Chromatic Lantern. 
do. Because that sounds like that sounds the most nasty thing to do. Um, and then good job, we're all gonna be dead soon, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> um, then I'll fate seal Kieran's again because I know what it is and it can stay on top. Okay. Right, and then I can move to combat. Yep. Um. I don't know what I've heist today. <laughs> no. No. no that's I've, got, I've, got, I've got things in there that give haste. Yeah, obviously. But they are <laughs> double strikers. But they are double strikers, yeah. And poison one. And poison one. Jeez. <laughs> um, so, what's on the board? You, Kieran's only got that one. I got zero three. Zero three. I've got a six six. A two two death toucher and a three two. No special skills. Well, then I can blink it. Okay, cool. So Chris is on the highest life total, so I'll send the commander damage at Chris. So that's not important when it's poison. <laughs> no. Oh, so true. that'd be fourteen. Was... Yeah, that'd be fourteen commander damage as well, though, wouldn't it? Why is it seven seven? Oh, you died to. Yeah, ne never mind. Let's let. Uh, no, you... ah, commander damage. That's not nice at all. Oh that's my god! Like just 14. swing at someone. That's fine. Right, sorry. <laughs> Worrying it's too about nice. it. It's too nice. It's too nice. Too nice. Just blowing up a chromatic lantern on the five color player. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Right. Okay. It, right. I just pretend to be nice. Yeah. I, just, I am nice. I, I I struggle with it. He isn't nice. Don't like, worry about I'm, it. Like, I'm nice until I'm upset, and then I'm not very nice. So he's not. He's not nice. He's upset about last game. Nice. Two takes improved, isn't it? Yeah. That, that was, you can hear, it. literally hear him smiling. Like. <laughs> Be upset when it gets to my turn. Oh, oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. Swing them out. Yeah. Where, um, that is. where are you going? And who are you swinging with? Yeah. I've swung at you, Chris. Just with that one creature. Yes, because the other one's only a one-one. Well, I will declare no blocks. Oh, okay. Double strike, Commander. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's four, I'll take fourteen, so I'll go to uh, twenty-five. Like a boss. Like a boss. Um, and I'm and I take I take the commander, which is fourteen. And can you do poison counters on here? I think you can, can't you? Yeah, I think so. I have no idea. Uh, can you do poison? You used to be able, you can do infect, so maybe that's just you can just do that the same. Ah, infect. Yeah, that'll yeah. do. So two lots of infect poison okay. damage stuff. Oh, there's a dice roller and a coin flipper. Yeah, they've added a few things now. Oh. And then is that me to go? Two. Yes. Yeah. Um, Wait, did that dice roll come up on the screen for anyone else? No. Well, how are you meant to... Uh, Not that I saw it. Trust people. Untap. Untap. Draw. God damn it. Um... I think I think things aren't going to go very well so I'll <coughs> take the planes and tap oh. the ever full purse oh, I missed the trigger I'm sorry when oh, slivers well. you control attack it pings one damage to target creature or player so so take another damage so it attacks twice, doesn't it? Because it's got double strike. No, it only attacks once. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, I'll take where one of Kieran's skeletons on it. Wow, thanks. Okay. okay. <laughs> I'll add well, I can't... Two... It doesn't ping anything to, to, to Matt, does it? <laughs> Could have pinged him in his face. I could have done that. No, true. it was just creatures, wasn't it? Creatures are planeswalkers. No, no, no. Target creature or player. Oh, player. Okay. okay. Um, I don't know what I want to do now. Board wipe. I haven't got one. <laughs> There's only two in this deck, and one I have to wait a turn to use, mm. and the other one is like massive mana sink. Uh, I'm just gonna say, don't play too much. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's fine. So, I'm going. Don't play too much creature wise. Can I still play off? Yeah. Okay, cool. I think 
I'll try and deal with the board if I can. Bit. <clears throat> yeah, my crab is looking dangerous. <laughs> I'm going to tap the three to play a treasure map. Uh, Matt is currently the one that's got the Everfall purse. Have I got it now? Have I yeah. yeah. You've got it now. Uh, treasure. Treasure chest. <laughs> that's what I played. I will go to combat. And... You haven't got the skeleton thing anymore. I haven't got the skeleton thing anymore, but they have. Oh, do they not have to attack now then? Because they're just one no. one skeletons. They're just one one skeleton. Yeah, but hopefully Matt's board wiping, so let's just swing everything at Delphal. With his double strike. Ah. Uh, do you want your adventure trigger? I do, yeah. Yeah, swing at me. Okay. I'll swing at you with my, my warranty and I'll send the uh, skeletons at Delphal because it's not going to make a difference anyway. Uh, I'll take two dungeons. Cool. I'll venture into the dungeon and create another treasure. Are they just mm. one one? They're just one one. Yeah, they're just one one. Right, cool. I shall just um, block with these two. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. <laughs> I did it to get, get him killed, though. <laughs> uh, pass it over to Matt. Yay. Turn, turn, turn. Draw. Um, okay, so I'm going to tap for one, two, um, make sure the colour's right. Uh, green, yeah, white, no, the gone. red, <laughs> yeah, black, blue, or it, Iridium Maelstrom. Destroy all creatures that aren't all colours. Oh, so I could play Pet Tamer. <laughs> I don't yeah. have the map. So... So unfortunately, oh, you uh, don't lose your first sliver because that's all colours, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, it's the best I could do, but still, it's a nice okay. card though. I do like that. Yeah, yeah it works very well in this deck, doesn't it? Yeah. Roll for treasures, <coughs> Matt. I need treasures, Matt. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, I will aim a one if Chris can flip me the four. Yeah. Oh, I'll try. But... Or again, please. Uh, two. <laughs> okay, so I get two. There's nothing. Oh, uh, I missed two counters on this. We will go to attacks and um, 11 at Dalfort. Trigger on my yep. two headed to draw two cards. Ah, uh, my ring crap's done. I'm ruined. Uh, that might not do that. Oh, trying the cards. Um. Hmm. Do that. No. Uh, past ten. Or I'm a bit slow today. Ugh. <laughs> um, <laughs> draw a card. Play a command card. Okay, so tap a sunken hollow. I'll roll the d4. That was a one. So three treasures. Terrible. I needed more than that. Should I have a count there for upkeep? Um, I'll just tap uh, white, blue, black, and one to play my command. And then I will pass the turn. Is that without tapping for treasures? No, 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 I tap for treasures. Cool. I'm just checking. I tapped for treasures. Oh. Untap. Play. A vivid growth comes in with two counters on it. <clears throat> two charge counters on it. Taps for green. Which will tap for green. Three. 
treasures. Sixteen. Get four treasures. Nice. Nice amount of dice rolling in this game. Yeah. yeah. One, two. One, two, three. Okay, so tap for black. One, two, three, four. Play spitting slither. All slithers have first strike. And then that will cascade. So looking for a four or less. Oh, mana weft. Mm. So then that will cascade into a one drop. I'll be as quick as I can. So I forgot that my carry at it died as well. Oh, yeah. I just take it off the field. Is that as a one down foot? The, the white slither, is it not? No, it's an armor, it's a two, a two and a white. Ah, okay. Very yeah, yeah, yeah. Old, old style, the, yeah. Just on the camera. Sorry. I was just trying to be as quick as I could. No, no, that's fine. I just didn't want you missing it from being yeah. quick. <laughs> there we go. That's side point of one. I thought it was a white slither. Yeah. Flanking. All slithers have flanking. Whenever a creature without flanking blocks a slither, the blocking creature gets minus one, minus one till the end of the turn. But each slither, right? Or All it... slithers have it. No, so it's not. So it doesn't stack. I don't think so. Does it? I don't. I don't. I'm not sure. Right, it's playing on the bottom anyway. That's that. Are you open, Matt? Uh, I am, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Uh, seven commander damage. So you then. Seven. Okay. One, two, three. Oh. Is it, are you sure? Because I'm dead if not. Because <laughs> you could go my way and kill me. So yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. I'm, I think more uh, Matt's more of a threat at the moment. Okay. I don't know if you reread Matt's Dragon. No. I have no idea what Matt's Dragon It's not like is. he hasn't got the mana to cast his commander again. Yeah, so if Matt gets damage with his Dragon, if a player attacked. You draw in their last turn, exile, oh, turn, yeah. land permanent. That player controls. Yeah. yeah. That's okay. It's all good. Okay. Is that you done after that? Sorry. Yep, I'm done. Yeah. That's my fault for talking about what you should be doing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on tap. Draw. Play a mountain. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, and Let you come two on, treasures. Let's play a day map. Uh, ETB. Go get some dragons. Up to five dragon cards. Two of them are in the bin. Um. <laughs> One, two. Oh, hold no bone. He's amazing. Yeah. Three, four, and I think that's all four. For the rest of the four, I mean. That one's a lizard. You need the other D and D dragons. I do. I do. I do need to get some Baldur's Gate stuff to put in here. Um, I think that's me done after that, Matt. So if you want to crack on, I'm just checking. You're not it's cracking for there. treasures. Oh yeah, let me do that so you can untap it. Yeah, I found another dragon. There's a bard dragon. Right. Uh, I'll crack one treasure and roll a d4. I get four treasures back. Oh, nice. That's over to Matt. Okay, I will draw. Okay. Um, you know when I said I'll take that fifth dragon? I changed my, you mind. Can't, I changed my mind. <laughs> I'm going to 
A5 for my commander, Jared. I'm going to minus three and put five counters on each of these two creatures. Ouch. Uh, crack a treasure to do your do the treasure, please, mate. Sound. Yeah. Only one. One to get one. Sorry, mate. Um. So. Twenty-one. Um. Hmm. So we're gonna go. Oh, dodgy now though. <laughs> dodgy, because Chrissy's got a big flyer. I have. A lifelink death touch flyer. Okay. Um Death was a threat. Right. <laughs> no what the threat is really. Death I need to attack with two had two headed <laughs> though. <laughs> Devil is a threat, obviously. I can't um, block the two headed. P's deck is a threat. Yeah. <laughs> Just uh, my existence is threatening, <laughs> thanks, man. <laughs> From very, very many past experiences of that deck. <laughs> um, I know, but I will kill whatever you swing at me because it's not yeah. first strike, is it? No. no, no it's, got, it's, got, my, got... it's got menace. menace. Oh, got menace it? no, no. Yeah. Yeah. Um... Kill the other one if it comes at me. That's, <laughs> no, that's got to go at Dalfour because I need to exile. Um, uh, uh, are you going to go, Chrissy, if you attack? Um, not towards you. Okay. Okay. No, we <laughs> go. I quite think where I was going, but I can agree <laughs> to that. <laughs> uh, Eleven at Dalfort, and my menace ten ten at Key. Trigger, draw two cards. Is the one coming at me got flying? Yeah, it's a uh, eleven eleven trample flyer. Um. And when it does damage, I will exile your commander. <clears throat> Put it in the commander. And I still didn't draw any land. Wow. Um, let's see if we can. Right, so go to second main. I'm going to use my two treasures to play Baleful Strix. Wait, did you not pass me the treasure thing? Oh, oh no, yeah, it is on me. Yeah, no, it is on me. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I, I, I did it. Yeah. I was like, oh um, no, because because he paid. Yeah, one I got one on one. Treasure. And then draw a card, and I still don't draw land. Oh my god. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards in hand. So I'm gonna have to get rid of. Go to my end. Uh, discard. Discard a Sousa because mm -hmm. I've got no lands. Um. Um. I want to get that and discard. Um, oh, I think it's bad to discard, but I'm gonna do it. Discard Joda. I haven't really got the mana, so they're <laughs> past that. <clears throat> get an upkeep counter draw. Oh my god. Um, right. So, I will pay a treasure, roll a d4. And I get one treasure back. Thanks, Gary. Snap. Uh, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, I'll pay the nine. Uh oh. And I'll play expropriate. No. Uh, so sh starting no. with me. Oh, look, I've got nothing. There's, there's as much as I can do. You've had a mad board. Matt's got massive flyers. You've got Tatum out. Right, so starting with me, each player votes for time or money. For each vote of time, I get an extra turn. For each vote of money, I choose a permanent owned by the voter and gain control of it. Ex exile, expropriate. So I'm going to choose time. Time. Oh, damn. 
<laughs> well, at the moment, there's nothing on my board to be that scared of anyway, and I've got four land in hand, so there you go. Yeah. Extra turn from me, definitely, whichever one that is. Okay. Fine. Fine. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> I don't want to sit here whilst you take three more turns. It could be, I'm, already could be... I'm already taking three more turns. It could be quick turns, because he's only got land in hand, so he's got a draw. Fine. Time, and this is so <laughs> not my fault. Okay, so Whatever the first happens th next is not my fault. Okay, Which so is the why. The first I said thing before, I do, I put dead. the main aqueduct onto the battlefield. Tapped. Um, and then... Battlefort's open, so I'll swing it in with the commander for two and gain two life. How am I open? You're going to flyers. Yeah, that's what I'm going to make open. I've got a 1-1 one, one death life. touch. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> all right. Don't worry about it. Was that two, you say? <laughs> yep, two. So, I untap the turn. So, this is number one. This untaps. This gains a counter. Going to draw for turn. Um, then I play a command tower for turn. Then. Have you been putting your clock up? Yes. Cool. Just you did, yeah. yeah, I just need another four, but I can pay mana for it. Um, I'll play Fabricate. Uh, search my library for an artifact card, reveal it, put it into my hand. Shuffle my library. Been that long since I played this deck, I don't even know. What is. You fabricate? Is that... Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. An artifact. Oh, uh, okay. That's fine. We're probably dead now. Yeah. <laughs> no, you do. Okay, that must have been the top draw then. Um. Yeah, it was. It was top deck. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's going to be deck of many things, but don't know if there's anything better. Uh, oh, actually, mm. folio of fancies. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. No. So that goes to the graveyard. I thought Lithophone, but I need stuff to either get me cards. That's good. I deck of many things is a good card. I know, but it's also, expensive. Also, drawing seven off your clock would be fine, wouldn't it? Because you could pump all your mana into that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, I'll tap two to play the folio, uh, the folio fairies. Uh, fancies and then create a fairy from that uh, and then I tap three mana to put my clock up by one play the land for turn so I swing a dad for two again getting two life And then go to the end steps of turn two. Tap, untap, counter, up to four. Draw off turn. <laughs> oh, um... I'll play an isolated chapel. I can't really play that card I just pulled. Um, because it means playing other people's cards, so that's, that sucks. Um, I'll pay... I will pay... One, two, three, four, five, six. To play a kicked maddening cacophony. <clears throat> so you three mill half your deck rounded up. Do 
did say you had that at the beginning of the game. I did say I had that at the beginning of the game. <laughs> I was waiting for the other pieces, but they didn't come, so... Does anyone do anything, by the way? <laughs> yeah, counting when you start saying numbers. <laughs> I'll pay three to put another midnight clock counter on. So it was round up. Yeah, yeah rounded up. Rounded round up. up. Right, so I've milled thirty five cards, I'm not even looking what they are. Yeah. Oh, oh. Should be. Yeah. That's the wrong one is twenty one spot. It's untap, upkeep, draw, isn't it? Yeah. I like how you've taken two turns and then asked that question. That's because it's <laughs> the only time it's mattered now. Um, okay, so uh, have I, I haven't done combat this time, have I? No. Um, so another two at Dalfour. So you're the only one I can get life from, Dad. Um, and then untap everything. Um, go go to upkeep. So trigger goes on, but I'll tap for a mana. So I have a blue floating mana. Okay. And then it triggers. Mm -hmm. So then put your hand and graveyard into your library, then draw seven cards, exile midnight clock. The expropriate is exiled. I have the beholder as well, but obviously I'm not going to play that because I'll just make it really complicated with the spell table. Is this your third turn? This is the third turn, yes. Okay, maybe I should just. I haven't done much. Maybe I should just give you Taya, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Why well, is that swinging at people? Well, I'd, I'd either been dead already, or you won't have yeah. a, a fourth turn. What do you mean? Because you're going to have another turn now anyway, aren't you? And then a turn after this, yeah. No, that's what I mean. The, your final turn is at the one after this turn. Yeah, the one after this one. The likelihood so, of two of us would have been dead by now. Two, three. Yeah, I four, think we're just dead anyway. <laughs> five, six, <laughs> seven, and then draw one for turn. Okay, here we go. So, I'll play. Planes for turn. Then I'll play Ancient Silver Dragon. So that is blue. Blue, so that's three. That four, extra five. Right there. Six. Wait, can I even cast it? Yeah, seven, eight. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I actually have one minute up. Yeah, when it deals damage, common damage to a player, roll a d20, draw cards equal to the result. You have no maximum hand size for the rest of the game. Um, so I played all that. Oh, not the, not the ancient silver dragon where you're rolling cards. Oh, yeah, okay, it is. Rolling dice, drawing yeah. cards equal to the number. And then I'll swing at dad for another two. And then go to my last turn.
So does that ancient silver dragon kill me? Uh, it will. Yeah. Yes. So. Yeah. So I'll swing the ancient silver dragon at you, Dad. I'll do eight damage. In response, <laughs> yeah, tap that for a green. <clears throat> One, two, sack of treasure. Collected company. Okay. Look at the top six cards in my library. Put two feature cards with converted mana three or less. So I'm looking for a flyer, obviously. How many cards? Six. One, two, three, four. This is where you should have looked at what you mailed. <laughs> Sorry? So this is where you should have looked at what you mailed. Yeah, I couldn't be bothered to look at 35 cards. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, cool. There's no point in me putting any any on the, on the thingy. I'm dead. Um, so I rolled a 14. So draw 14. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Okay, I'll play Teferi's Time Raveler. I think we don't need to mention the word time for the rest of the game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which is blue. Let's just do three. Mention. M3. Um, and then I'll minus three it to bounce Matt's monstrosity menace thing back to his hand. Oh, mate, I could have done that with both. I'm an idiot. Um... And then I'm going to void rend the your other creature, Matt. So it's destroyed, it can't be counted. Yay. And then I'm going to utter end your tear, Matt, Chris. So it's exiled. And then I think you have to what, sorry? I have to pass. Um, oh, this would have come back to me as well. Yeah, that's come back to you. Deaded. Untap. You got flyers? Yep. Okay. Draw. Oh, I was going to do something on end step and I didn't do it. 
<laughs> uh, I'll tap the have this, uh, the Everfall purse for another two. Uh, go to seven. Uh, one, two, three, four. For four, I'm going to sacrifice the treasure chest. Raw d20. Between two and nine, I get five treasures. Uh, ten and nineteen, I gain three life, draw three cards. And for a natural 20, you go get to search my library for stuff. Uh, six, so I get five more treasures. So that goes to 12, right? 12, not quite the number I needed. Oh yeah, you can only cast things at sorcery speed. Oh, okay, that's fine then. I couldn't have done anything on your end step. Um, this is really annoying. Is that sorcery speed one? Off the Teferi. Teferi. Oh, okay. <coughs> Surprised you didn't know that, Matt. Oh, no, I, did, I didn't see it on the field. <laughs> <laughs> Should know Teferi. Uh, uh, right, and I will play a Yavis. Silver Moon Ranger. Uh, it's 3 3 with reach, award 1. Whenever I cast a creature spell, creature or planeswalker spell, venture into the dungeon, uh, trigger this ability only once each turn. So that'll be 3, go to 9. Uh, so for 7, I will play Old Norbone, and each of you can lose a life, and I'll gain a life. Yeah. And then I've got two two mana left. Uh, does that do a thing? That book isn't really impactful, is it, Matt? No. Well, depending on how, cards, how many cards you've got in hand, I can make you mail. Four, five, six. Yeah, so I can make you mill six for, for once, for three mana. Right, okay. Well, I don't think it's that important. So I'm going to sack two treasures. Uh, I'm going to find a... I find a cursed idol. I'm going to create a treasure from it and venture into the dungeon. So I draw a card and I have uh, finished the dungeon so I will get a wolf token. Which I might have actually. Dinosaur wolf token. Yeah, it's the wrong wolf, but I'm having it. <laughs> it's a 2 2 green wolf, but that's good enough for now, because I think I'm dead anyway. I found it. I knew I saw it. Um, yeah, then I think that's my turn over. Okay. One, two, three. Four, five, six. That draw. Uh, nothing I can play, so sorcery scoop. Go on. I can't play anything. Go on, two, can you get me? <clears throat> I don't think I'm gonna be able to get through, if I'm honest. Um right, so first things first. I'll play a polluted delta. I'll then tap and sack my polluted delta to go get a land. I'm pretty sure I haven't got water grave out. So.
Court your grave, but I'll pay two life to have it. Come in untapped. Oh, right brain, I think. How many cards you got in your library, Woody? Uh, less than 35. Right. I'll pay... Oh. I'll pay three for rings of heath. What's that doing? Uh, whenever you activate an ability, if it... Oh, it wasn't a mana ability. Okay, that doesn't actually help me. Can I take that back? No. <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> Depends what you're going to do with it. Yeah, play the Lithorm engine. In that case, no. <laughs> okay, I'm going to play the Lithorm engine. The rings does the same thing, mate. No, it doesn't. Whenever you activate an ability, this can copy spells, permanence. Ah, uh, okay. It's different. The rings works on the book. Yeah, it's not the book that I want it for. Um, but I create another two fairy fairies, so I've got three fairies now. Um, I'll do. So I'll play a farewell stone. I'll get another fairy. If I let you take the rings back, you do it this turn. I think so, yeah. Go on then. So, yeah, so if I take the rings, so I have to go back to. Yeah, go on. I'm only doing it because I can't get through your fairies, so. Right, yeah, so that would go back to two. So then I would play. Fractured Sanity, tapping the form engine. To copy it. And that does what, sorry? Um, mill 14, so you're milling 28. Okay. Two, three, four, five cards left. Um, and then. Oh, and then you book. I can only get you. Oh, yeah, because how many cards you got in hand? Six. Yeah, so then mill six. Go. Cool. Uh, I would say GG's, but that was ridiculous. <laughs> hey, do not blame me for that. You all decided to give me an extra turn. <laughs>